Hello the internet! It is Thursday the 25th of May 2023 and welcome back to the channel. Sadly, I've got an update uh, for the Saga Fiber to the Premises install situational video series. If you're not too sure what the crap I'm dribbling about, check the playlist that like, outlines the whole saga. This is a video I didn't think I'd have to make. I thought that was all over, but here we are with a problem with the internet. In particular, the download speed. Now look, just before we go further, I've always said I'm not really concerned about download speeds. In fact, once we've got this up and running, I was planning on dropping down a speed tier just to, because I don't need it, right? All we need, all I need is a good upload and a consistent connection, AKA fiber, which I have now, but we're not getting what we're paying for in terms of the download speeds. What are we paying for? We're paying for a gigabit down 40 up. What are we getting? Let me have a look. Let me show you. Let's go to fast.com. Fast.com. And this will give you the guts of it. The download is capping out at, let's call that 100, right? It's tapping tapping at 100. Now, I can't show you more info because that'll dox my, um, my uh, IP address, but I can click it and tell you that it's going 33, 34. Actually, you know what I could probably do? I could probably crop that. I can, pro you know what, I can show that. To oh, I can't. What if I zoom it in? No. Oh no, I can do it. I can do it. Check this out. Just for the interest's sake. There it is. 40 up. <laughs> anyway, so here's the situation. Uh, after two weeks of this, because this has been going, so so let me back back up a little. It was going gigabit speeds. So we had gigabits for quite a while, gigabit download speeds. Um, and then about two weeks ago, it just randomly stopped. And I have had no time in any of my life to get and investigate it. I've just been so flat out with other things. Today, I have investigated it. First thing I did was to buy a gigabit uh, ethernet to Type-C adapter so I could go straight into the, into the NTD, plug straight in via Cat6A cable, right? So I went straight in, sure, same speeds, nothing there. So that's that's taking the modem, which is a Fritzbox 5590. I did upgrade my modem, 5590. 5590. I know that's a fiber modem, but we don't use that fiber part. Anyway, we're using the WAN port, blah, blah, blah. So I eradicated that from the picture and went straight into the NTD. Then uh, I figured, okay, something's wrong. So I called Aussie Broadband, the RSP, and they went through a series of tests, including not just using my laptop, but using my iPad. Also um, trying to go back into the modem and try that, and then blah, blah, blah. We chose different cables. We did everything we could possibly do. And then it came very clear that the NTD on one of the UniD ports, the one that we're using, it's green light, not Amber. Now, why is that important? Well, let's have a look and find out. Here is uh, all about the NTD with fiber to the premises. Scroll down. Can we see this? Make that a little bigger. Uh, status lights. Scroll down. Power, optical, alarm, UniD. So, if it's off, nothing is plugged in. Bingo, bango. If it's green, A device capable of up to 10 or 100 megabits a second is plugged in. If it's orange or amber, a device capable of up to 1000 megabits or a gig is plugged in. This light will flash during data transfer. So the point of this is that the device that was plugged in, in, my, in all instances, was my laptop via the 6, 6A cable and that guy that's on the floor, which is gigabit, 100%. And then when it's not this laptop plugged in, it's Cat 6A cable running less than 50 meters to the Fritzbox 5590 in the WAN port, which is gigabit enabled. And so we're not getting an orange light from the NTD, the network termination device. So it seems to be that that might be faulty. So what's happened now is there is a technician coming out. What day is today? Thursday. A technician comes out on Monday from from NBN Co to check the NTD. So I thought I'd just update you with that because um, it's notable, right? It's notable. 
it's not desirable it's not great um for the time that it was connected through gigabit speeds it was kind of rad i've got to be honest it was quite nice to have those fast speeds to download stuff not necessary for what i do as a live streamer but still kind of fun to have once this gets resolved i'll probably continue using it for another month or so and then i will drop back down a tier level i i, I kind of i'm looking towards maybe swapping rsps to lawn tell they do uh, 250 up 250 down um but i don't know if it's going to be worth it financially um look if aussie broadband did 40 up 40 down i'd probably take that right i don't you don't need a thousand you don't need a gigabit down i don't nobody does anyway but yeah if you thought this video was helpful or if you just want to I don't know, follow along, then do that. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share this this out. Oh, by the way, the other thing too, just before I forget, I have uh, contacted my connector connection, my, what was the name? The excavations manager, the escalations manager at NBN Co. And I just did inform her of this situation. I said, there's no action needed from you. Like, you're, like I'm not escalating. I'm just informing at that point because I don't want her to say, oh, well, you know, whatever. But if this guy comes out on Monday and then it's something major, then maybe there needs to be an, ex an excavation and an escalation happen. But at this stage, I just wanted to keep her in the loop because she kept me in the loop very, you know, very kindly throughout the whole process. And I feel like the the, the finish line isn't here yet. We're not quite over it. Um, funnily enough, we were holding the cup up and we were celebrating and then someone else came and won the race that's not a very good metaphor. I'm going to get out of here while I'm on a decent metaphor. Get out of here.